Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So we continue to see some insane drives on full self-driving version 13.2.2 and we saw this happening all over the US. And the way Tesla has innovated with cost and scalability, no one will be able to keep up with Tesla. And I don't think people really realize how fast this will happen from zero cyber caps to millions disrupting the whole transportation sector, including rail hailing, and will end someone like Waymo. So let's check out why Tesla's full self-driving will open up a whole new market that no one is really talking about, and let's dive right in. So there is some discussion about if autonomy will make it so we have less cars on the road or more cars on the road. I personally think it's a little bit of both, because as Tony Seba predicts, autonomous vehicles will make 80% of light vehicles go away as autonomous cars will be able to work maybe four times more than our private cars of today. And that is probably true. But at the same time, I think transportation that is going to be so affordable as Tesla is aiming for with the robot taxis, it is going to open up whole new markets, as so many people that couldn't afford a car before can now have one on demand. And people that can't drive for one reason or the other because they are blind or whatever can now suddenly have a car. But I also think so many companies are going to add cyber cabs to their fleet, as they will also be able to open up new markets for them. As we already know about companies making a living of delivering stuff to people, of course, but now the car can drive there themselves without any human driver. But also giving companies like, let's take Starbucks for example, a chance to open up their market to new customers. If you're sitting on the Malibu beach and thinking, I could do with a cup of coffee to that beautiful sunset, you can just open up your phone and order a cup of coffee at Starbucks and they will just deliver it to you in a cyber cab because it's going to be so extremely cheap. As they have coffee shops everywhere, right? So even if you're sitting on Big Rock Beach at Malibu, there is a Starbucks coffee shop just four miles away. So that would not cost more than 80 cents for Starbucks to get that cup of coffee to you when the price per mile for a cyber cab get down to that 20 cents per mile. And they could even push that cost onto the customer if they want to. So this is just to say the opportunity are basically endless. I'm not saying the Starbucks will do this, I'm just saying they could make something like this as this will suddenly open up their business to more customers, not just to the ones coming to their coffee shops, but to basically everyone. And you can of course in the future add Optimus to that trip as well. And so many companies are going to take advantage of this. And maybe also for company cars as well, that companies can then offer their staff free transportation to and from the job, making it much cheaper for the company than normal company cars and making it available for more employees as a benefit for working at the company. So while autonomous vehicles might reduce the need for personal car ownership due to their efficiency, the affordability and accessibility of the transport could lead to an overall increase in vehicle usage, particularly in new commercial applications. This dual impact suggests a complex evolution in the transportation dynamics rather than a straightforward reduction or increase in the numbers of cars. But but I personally think that the normal traffic that we have today with light vehicles will be reduced because of autonomous cars, but the overall market will probably increase because transportation suddenly becomes extremely affordable and accessible. But when Tesla turns on their cybercab 
production. I think many are underestimating just how fast Tesla can do this compared to someone like Waymo, because Waymo has 700 cars on the road after seven years. Very slow, as it is very complicated and extremely expensive to scale. But Tesla has just within a year ramped up the production of the Cyber Truck to something like 50 to 60 thousand units, and the Cyber Cab is going to be much easier to ramp and produce. So 50 thousand units in the first year should be child's play for Tesla. So Tesla could put like 10,000 units in Austin and have more cyber cabs in that city than both Waymo and Uber drivers combined. So Tesla might start the price for their cyber cab rides at $2 per mile as we see with Waymo and Uber. But they could also just undercut them straight away because Tesla doesn't really need to earn money straight away on the robot taxi as Tesla will also be earning a lot of money on their full self-driving unsupervised software for their normal cars and licensing deals with other OEMs. So Tesla could come in with guns blazing and take only like 50 cents per mile in the beginning. So because Tesla could put a lot more cars in Austin than Uber that has around 8000 Uber drivers and 104 more cars than Waymo. So sure, you can order a Waymo if you like, but it will take like five to 10 minutes for it to be there and maybe 10 to 20 minutes in rush hour, whereas a cyber cab will be there probably within one to two minutes because they will have so many. And then you don't have to sit in a normal EV. You sit in a cyber cab with a huge screen with a ton of entertainment. And compared to Waymo, it will even get you to your destination faster, as Waymo still can't drive on highways. As Omar showed us, his ride with Waymo took 43 minutes, but the Tesla did the same drive on full self-driving with zero interventions in just 12 minutes. And compared to Uber, you don't get into another man's car with a person inside. You get into your own private little space, your private little limo with no one else but a bunch of entertainment at your fingertips. So the Cybercap is going to be a better experience, picking you up faster and will cost four times less than an Uber or Waymo ride and be fast, precise and safe. Tesla is going to become so dominating in every city they put them in. And in the first year, they could basically decide on five cities and put 10,000 in each and become the best option by far out of all transportation options. Nothing comes close, not even taking the bus as that is not as convenient and a rough estimate for the average price of a city bus ticket per mile in the US can be around 84 cents as study done by Self Financial in 2023 indicated. So Tesla could make a private little limousine cheaper than taking the city bus. And Tesla can easily do this because of their production innovation with the unboxed production method. So the Cybercab is going to be very affordable car to produce, probably around $15,000 for Tesla to produce it, but it will be a very profitable business. So Tesla will have no problem scaling this up and scaling for peak hours, because when the product is this cheap, but makes Tesla something like thirty to $50,000 a year, depending on the miles they will do and the cost per mile, of course. But that means it doesn't matter much for Tesla that they might have half of their fleet idling doing off peak hours. Also because Tesla has so many other opportunities for idling cyber caps. Elon has already said that Tesla will at some point make their entire fleet into a decentralized computer that could help AI with inference. Another moonshot is that X will probably at some point make their own cryptocurrency, as Elon and X want to revolutionize the global payment system. So if that's going to be the case, I could easily see Tesla's cybercap fleet and maybe the entire fleet mining cryptocurrency at some point while they are idling doing nothing anyway. And of course, there is also the possibility that the cars could be transportable power banks, as Tesla is going to sit with a huge amount of kilowatt hours idling in the future. When Tesla hits like 1 million cybercats on the street, if they have like 50 kilowatt hour batteries inside of them, that is 50 gigawatt hours of energy. So to put that into a little perspective, the average nuclear plant in the US has a capacity of 1 gigawatt. So Tesla could also 
buy and sell energy to the grid, earning Tesla more money and helping out the grid. So even though Tesla could easily have half of their fleet idling doing off peak hours, doing nothing because they are so affordable to produce and so profitable to run. But here was just three things that the Cybercat could probably do while idling, earning Tesla money even when they're not moving. Something Waymo will probably never be able to do. And this is why I think Tesla will be able to ramp up so fast in the few cities they're going to start in and then go from city to city to city very quickly. Because with Elon Musk and Trump in the White House, we might get a national regulation about autonomous vehicle. So if that's the case, Tesla could get an approval in one state, they might be able to get approval in all states simultaneously, or very quickly anyway. And this is something Tesla will be able to do extremely fast compared to Waymo. Because Waymo will of course also be approved in all states then, but we already know they will take years, probably decades, to just be operational in all major cities in the US, because they have to pre-map every city first. But with Tesla, as soon as they get unsupervised full self-driving to work, and if we have one set of regulations for all of the US, Tesla can just start putting cars in cities all over the US. Because that is really the big difference between Waymo and Tesla, right? Not just the cost, but as Waymo's cars can only drive in geofenced areas in seven cities in the US. But Tesla's cars can already today drive in every city in the US, supervised of course. As Homas also shared on X as he wrote, let's try something cool. Can we get a video of someone with full self-driving 13 pushing the full self-driving start button plus 30 seconds of hands-free driving for all 50 states and Canadian province? Reply to this post with your video and what state it was filmed in or a link to the video. And in this thread, we got posts from so many states and cities like Chicago, San Diego, LA, California, Boston, Nebraska, New Jersey, Houston, Quebec, Nevada, San Antonio, New York City, New York State, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Colorado, Northern Saskatchewan, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Alabama, Toronto, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Oregon, Washington State, Utah, New Hampshire, Arkansas, Ontario, Georgia, North Dakota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nova Scotia, and New Mexico. And even Tesla Alley shared this three hour drive from San Diego to LA with zero human inputs. So that's something else to remember. Waymo is only a city thing. It might have service in San Francisco and LA, but it can't drive between them. Tesla can. We even saw Matt write that he covered Texas. Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi and Alabama in one day 100% on version 13.2.2 in his Cybertruck. Again, something Waymo will probably never be able to do. Tesla already can. Not without supervision, of course, but we are seeing some insane progress at the moment. So the Cybercab is really going to blow this market up, as it will be able to offer a better service than all the others, but for something like four times less the price. And that will only become cheaper the more Cybercabs that get on the street, and will probably get as low as 20 cents per mile at some point. And at the same time, Tesla will be able to scale this up to millions very quickly. Just remember the Tesla Model Y, which is a much more complex car than the Cybercab, went from zero to 850 in just a little over two years and 1.2 million last year in 2023. This is very likely that the Cybercab will be able to do something similar, or probably even better, like within three years be at a production run rate of 1 million, that they can just put on the streets every single year. There is no way that Waymo is going to survive this. I can't see how Uber will either, as they still have that very expensive human driver in the car. So they're going to be outperformed on price and even availability, as Tesla can easily put more units in the big cities than there are Uber drivers. Like Austin, where there's only 8,000 Uber drivers. That is about half a week of Cybercab's production when they're rammed up to 1 million. No one will be able to keep up 
with CyberCap in cost, availability, service, and idling businesses. When Tesla turns this on, it will disrupt the transportation sector as we know it and open up whole new markets that have never been available before because transport has never been this affordable and available ever. So much is going to change. Tesla will be the winner in this race where winner takes most market as no one else has anything close to what Tesla has with the CyberCab. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.